Hey Alan, how are you? Okay, this is a a Nintendo frame. Believe it or not, that's not that TV tube that I had picked up. And I got lucky, the TV tube has the right impedance to work with this uh, this chassis, which is not working properly. i got to recap that chassis. But anyhow, so here it is. Here's how it goes. Okay. There's paper here. So the monitor just sits in there, man. And bolt it in like so. I'll take pictures <clears throat> of all this, but if you want to show him the video. So it's sitting there, bolted in with this crossbar. Okay. Now I gave you a schematic or, or I gave you directions. You see they're bolts that go right through the side. Now I gave you a, a plot, a plot chart that goes from here to that bolt position and then across. So you can you can get the exact bang on bolt hole locations. And then put your L bracket in that away and the bar. Now as for the monitor, the monitor, as you can see here, just has two holes in it. And then two holes, there's th the, the bar is has threaded holes in it. The screw goes through that hole and into the bar, which is threaded. So that's how you secure the top. Now the bottom, you can see the chassis here, it's not really sitting on that wood. Believe it or not, it's not. There's a space under there, so I can get my finger underneath. And the way it is accomplishing that is, I will come around here, just give me a second to turn the, the machine around for light and open and take the basil out. Okay, uh, I turned it around. There's my beautiful outdoor scenery. Here's my cat. Charlie! Psst. Charlie! Don't ignore me. Okay. <laughs> so we put this in here. Like so. Pull it outwards. Put the, put the butter knife up top. You know it sits in that groove up there. It sits in that groove here. Now you see the, the monitor's there, the monitor's just, you see it's just paper sitting there. It's pretty much in free space. So there's the bracket, right there, there's the bracket from the opposite angle. Okay, I told you the, the holes on the top of the uh, chassis or the frame are screwed and held up from the bottom upwards. So you can actually see the screw there holding it in place now you're probably going to say well what's holding it on the bottom I didn't want to take that off but out it comes out it comes there it is I gotta tape it back in there better anyhow um, so at the bottom of that frame, you will also see holes, just like at the top. See? And there is... How the hell does that work? There is an L bracket. It's not very tight. How the hell does that work? Is there a nut on the bottom? It's just sitting there? What? Holy shit! This should be sitting on top of this with the screws holding it in place. It's loose, see? It's loose because it's sitting in behind. So some fucking jackass, the guy who bought the machine from, mounted the frame in that way. I've, I've never had this frame out of this machine. Wasn't that nice? Anyhow, there's, there's about a 1 8 thick L bracket here with these 
threaded screws. <laughs> oh, come on. These threaded screws here. Oh, brother. And it just rests on top of this bracket. The only reason this monitor hasn't fallen out of this machine is it's it's caught the wood in behind. And there's probably screws, probably screws going downwards that it's caught onto to hold the bracket in place. So we'll see. It should be sitting on top of this, not behind it. Because there's nothing behind it, it's just a big hole in the frame. You know, like that. Fucking son of a bitch, eh? So you can see it. See it moving? Fuck, it's supposed to be resting on top. There you go. Live and learn, eh? Okay. So, I'll put that screw back in for now, and one day, while I'm in the mood, fuck me. I gotta unbolt the monitor from the top and physically manhandle it to get it on top of this, not in behind. You know. All right. So, anyhow. Now you're probably saying, well, what is the angle you've asked me? What is the angle of the board here? Well, I can't tell you. I can't tell you, man. The, the way I did it with LeMay's machine was the easiest way. Is I plotted out where these holes are in the back so that I get the... Uh, so I get that back bar in the exact position. I put only the one bolt in. So I had a pivot point, so I could swing the monitor up and down. Your friend might need help with that. So basically, get the monitor in on those two pivot points, and then you can actually lift the monitor. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? You can swing the monitor up and down. You can swing it up and down until you get a relatively eyeballed 45 degree angle. And while you're doing that, you have to make a bracket. What I did in the LeMay's machine, because because this um, lip is almost it's one inch. I put a two by four behind it, so you can you can put a two by four in behind that, okay? And and it's flat underneath, and and uh, and attach the two by four to the side. So as long as you get that right, then you can just kind of move the move the monitor up and down. Okay, you get Buddy Love there to uh, prepare a 2x4, you know what I mean, to screw a 2x4 to the bottom, make sure you got free room to swing around, and mark it on the side. Then you can pull the monitor back out and mount this properly, and then you can just drop, pull the monitor, then you can just pull the monitor in, drop it on front of the 2x4, or in my case, in front of my bracket. Okay, and screw the top brackets in, and it'll sit. It'll sit like that. It'll just sit there. That's all. So, as long as you get that exact measurement up there, you can figure out where to put the bottom piece and how to join it. It doesn't have to have this big shelf here. I don't know, maybe Richie will agree with me or someone, but this big shelf was really there for, for the original radar scope and for also for uh, structural integrity of the cabinet because it's so long and deep it gives the cabinet um, not necessarily structural integrity this way but it gives it so so it doesn't go this way right I mean there's lots of there's lots of things that go across but you know and will and will stop the cabinet from uh, you know falling apart or whatever but there's not so much structural going this way. The only the only other thing that goes that way is the, the control panel. So it's you know. I mean, this whole thing would just fall over like like a house, you know, like that, and just collapse if it didn't have. Okay, shut up. All right. Anyhow, show this video to your friend there. And this should take care of that. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a talk with you. Just let me know if you got the, 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 <laughs> the pictures I sent you with the exact bolt location. 
or I have to remeasure it all out again.